Hello everyone and happy Friday. Our weather guys are hard at work with these storms going on. I'm sure you've seen them. Unfortunately, we had to cancel the Friday frenzy on the air, but we had so much going on today. We thought our athletes deserved a little bit of space, at least on our website. 1A and 2A state softball and baseball. We had four teams that started play today. And you know what, let's start in the 1A, Salt Fork and Putnam County baseball. Bottom six, Salt Fork up 2-1. Ross Lerner gets the strikeout, so two outs, next batter, Lerner, one strike away from getting out of a jam, but Justin Pettit singles to center. Putnam County would tie it up at one, and they weren't done. Austin Pletch crushes one to right. That's getting down to the wall. Brings home another Salt Fork. Loses a heartbreaker three to one. Disappointed in the loss, but realized there's still something left to achieve. We'll battle. I mean, they won't, they won't quit. They won't hang their heads over what happened today. Uh, they'll be right back after tomorrow. I mean, like, if it's going to be kind of weird. I mean, after you lose, you feel like you're done. But, I mean, like, you're playing for third and fourth place. I mean, that's still a great accomplishment to get a chance to do. 2A state final four to Topolis, making their third trip in four years, playing Lyle this afternoon. Bottom first, leadoff hitter Jared Waldoff. The second pitch he sees in this one is way gone. one nothing. Top three, though. Lyle up, bases loaded, two outs, and they come through. Base hit. And the go-ahead run comes around to score. Another run held up at third, but Lyle took a 2-1 lead. T-Town ace Kyle Prumer would settle down. One of his 10 strikeouts to end the inning here. He would go the distance, but his counterpart was even better. Ryan Volkenberg gets the fly out to complete what was a big upset. T-Town disappointed, a team that was hoping to make the state championship game. They're high school kids who wanted to get to the state championship ball game, but... Uh... I told them they have to, uh, they got to bounce back now. We're going to get a third place game. And we want to win 30 ball games in a year, and there's nothing to hang their head about at this point. To the second two-way game, Pleasant Plains and Eureka. Pleasant Plains in some trouble in the first inning, but Eureka has the bases loaded, but inducing the 5-3 double play. Cole Hamilton, a nice play there to bail out his pitcher. More great defense here, Taylor Staff. Saving another run with this diving catch, but Eureka, you only play with fire so much because they'd get on the board with a two-out hit by J.D. Andrews. Jared McCune scores. Eureka led 2-0 in the fifth inning, but a lightning delay to this game. We're going to have to wait for a finish until tomorrow. And to softball now, 1A state semifinal between Toledo, Cumberland, and Goreville. Pirates ace Kaylee Carlin rock solid. She gets the strikeout. Cumberland down one after the first, but their offense would wake up two. Drawing the walk here, that opened the door for a big inning. Next up, Kyla Thornton, a double to left, two run score. Cumberland wins 8-4. They'll play Milledgeville tomorrow for a state title. And of course, we have to mention soccer. The Glenwood girls advancing to state in the 2A for the second year in a row. They'll play Prairie Ridge High out of Crystal Lake tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Now we have to move on to some Illini news. It's been exciting in Champaign-Urbana. The Illini baseball team at NCAA Regionals in Nashville taking on Georgia Tech in the 2-3 game. Georgia Tech saving their ace for what they had hoped would be a second round matchup with Vandy, but the Illini taking advantage of their number two, Jordan Parr. First of two home runs, 2-0 Illini. In the fourth, David Carrion, the first baseman, on the move. While Davis Hendrickson at the plate. Nice little swinging strike there, opening the door for Carrion, who steals the base. And it was a timely one as Hendrickson knocks him around to score. Illinois would take a 4-0 lead. They'd hang on 6-4. So they're in the winner's bracket. They advance to take on top-seeded Vanderbilt, also number two in the country. That game at 7 o'clock tomorrow. The Illini golf team was ranked 26th going into the national tournament, but came into the day in the Elite Eight of NCAA Men's College Golf. And by the time the clock struck three, they'd already matched the best team performance in program history. Illinois taking down Texas 3-2 in their match play quarterfinals. The biggest win, Alex Burge, 3-2 over his counterpart. The Illini take on top-seeded and top-ranked Cal in tomorrow's semifinals. Now, it's been an odd offseason for the Illini basketball team, to say the least. Five players moved on due to graduation. Four more transferred since. Now five freshmen will be coming in next year, and four more transfers will be coming in. That's nine new names on the roster, leaving just three Illini who played more than three minutes a game last season. Head coach John Gross says he's never had this much turnover in all his years coaching. Gross, who spent much of his first season at Illinois trying to get players to buy into a new system, will have to do it all over again with the next group. 
Well, everybody's got to be open-minded. Everybody's got to be willing to sacrifice. Everybody's got to pull their share of the load. Uh, everybody's got to understand it's about the team first. And I think last year's team, for the most part, got that. But there's never a guarantee that the next team's going to get that. And all of us are going to have to sacrifice. Everybody's role is important, and everybody's got to play their role at, a, at an all-star level. On to the major leagues, starting with the red-hot Cubs. Cubs mashing the ball all over the place amidst a four-game winning streak. Trying for that to continue today. A runner on first for Alfonso Soriano. High and deep and just deep enough. 2 nothing was the score. Then in the third, bases loaded. We actually saw this yesterday. For the second day in a row, a Cubs grand slam. This time it's Scott Hairston. Put the Cubs up 6 nothing at that point. They'd go on to win their fifth straight 7-2. to two. White Sox at the time of this recording were down one nothing to the Athletics in the bottom of the eighth. We also do have to mention Giants and Cardinals in St. Louis postponed for obvious reasons. Finishing our Friday with our play of the day as usual. And if there was any question whether the Illinois baseball team was relaxed going into regionals, just take a look at this. Never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. Few players breaking into song after reading the starting lineups, Top Gun style. Now for that entire video, go to the WAND Inside the Illini Facebook page. And I appreciate you watching this impromptu Friday frenzy. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you back here next week.